Hello and welcome again to Immigration News and Views. My name is David Nachman. I'm one of the managing attorneys at the Nachman Pawani Zimochek NPZ Law Group Law Office. We're located in northern New Jersey. We also have an office in Midtown Manhattan. We also have affiliated offices in Canada and also in India. So what I want to do is share with you one of the questions which was recently provided by one of our viewers who sent in an email to us asking us a very interesting question that may be a question that many of you have on a regular basis. And it has to do with the ability to capture a earlier priority date that was established if you have another priority date that's set up later. So let me give you the scenario that our viewer had proposed to us. Our viewer was dealing in the uh, business immigration context and what uh, he said was, I have an EB2 uh, case which was uh, the perm was approved and the I-140 was approved for company A but I'm thinking about moving to company B and company B has represented that they are willing to do a new perm application for me and they're also willing to of course go through with the sponsorship process so the question is if my perm application gets approved with company B and the I-140 gets approved can I utilize the priority date from the earlier PERM application filing? And the answer to this is very interesting. The answer is, seems to be um, that you would be able to take advantage of the earlier priority date that was filed. So the uh, earlier priority date that was struck in that EB2 case where the PERM application was approved can be used as long as it was not the government that, let's say, withdrew the, uh, the PERM application for Company A. So uh, what could potentially happen is this, is that when the individual moves on to Company B, Company A could leave the, uh, could leave the PERM application in place uh, and the approved I-140. They can leave it in place, or what they could do is they could withdraw it, or because of some misrepresentation or some type of fraud, the government could revoke that perm application. So the way it seems to be working is that you can seize upon that earlier priority date if you have an approved perm and approved I-140 for company B as long as it was not the government that revoked that prior perm application and I-140 due to fraud or misrepresentation. So that seems to be the current policy. And I thank very much the uh, viewer who sent that question in. I'm glad to address that issue. I'm sure that many other viewers of the uh, Immigration News and Views has that question, uh, so I hope that this information is helpful. If you, your staff, or any member of your family have any other questions with regard to either business or family-based immigration, please feel free to send them to us by email, and we'll try to address them in another segment of Immigration News and Views. I'm David Nachman, the Managing Attorney of Nachman Pawani Zimocek. Thanks very much for being with us. Bye now.